Would you please welcome to the stage the star of the feature film, Where Hope Grows, David DeSanctis. Hey guys, I'm David DeSanctis. I'm, um, I am here to present an uh, award to the best agent in the whole wide world, Gail Ford Williamson, that had been uh, connected to the KMR, and she has just been the best agent to me ever, and, and, and also she had helped uh, another person that I'm in the middle of watching the show, and the show is called Glee. The person that she had helped is Lauren Porter, and that is the person that I've thought of to be my catalyst because she has been my inspiration and my motivation. And I've always loved her. I've loved her acting. And she inspires me to um, get other roles in other TV shows and movies. And I like to be on that kind of show that she has been on. So, yeah. Since Cindy Kazarian first started a division devoted to performers with disabilities, it's been our focus to educate the entertainment industry. Gail Williamson continues this tradition as our diversity department has become one of the most important areas at Kazarian Measures Wrestling. What you doing? I heard it crying. That's impossible. That closet would... Oh, you the clairvoyant. When people look at me, they don't see a model. They see an amputee. She says, thank you for changing my life oh. and mine. Oh. I like your shirt. I like your dress. <laughs> Perhaps if you talked more about being intersex. Mm -hmm. OK, then talk about how few be true. Dr. Joy, I got you something. It's gold. Stand up for the little guy. Can I get an amen, Brenda? Amen. Good luck. Oh, is that it? Did you know how to candy? Maybe. C uh, come on, just reach in. Hey, you got the coaster! Freddie Lynn? Hey, you guys must be NCIS. You mind grabbing me in my other half? They said they don't know. They said they'll do some tests. That's what they do at my age. They do tests. It's a blessing. A hearing baby is a time bomb waiting to go off. This is Becky Jackson. She's thinking of coming here. Don't. This place sucks. That's Kitty. I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> is that your boyfriend? Artie? Hell no. He got herpes. Ew. Becky. I think it's very funny and very beauty. Tell me something I don't know. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome to the stage this year's winner for entertainment excellence, Kazarian, Measures, Ruskin and & Associates, and Gail Williamson. I'm so proud of all those people that you just saw, and that's just a smattering of them. Back in 1989, a little show came on the air called Life Goes On. Anybody remember that show? Yeah, okay. My good friend Chris Burke, a wonderful actor with Down syndrome, played Corky. And at the time, I said to my son Blair, who was 10, Blair, you're going to want to watch this show because you're going to grow up and be just like Corky. And Blair said, oh, no. Daddy's Down syndrome went away. My brother's Down syndrome went away. Mine will go away. And I had no idea that my son um, had this view and that I had not offered him any adult role models with Down syndrome. He at that time didn't see a future life for himself. And he was just the cutie up there saying it's gold. That was Blair. Um, and and it, it suddenly dawned on me that every kid should be able to get up and turn on the TV and see somebody that looks like them, to see themselves represented in, in the media. And that was sort of 
what started me out on this journey to, to make sure that this happened. Along the way, I found the California Governor's Committee for Employment of People with Disabilities, and I spent many years in their media office working very hard to get more images in television and film. And their purpose was because they felt it would create more employment overall. If you are an employer and you see an image of someone with a disability employed on TV, you're obviously going to keep that in your head the next time someone interviews with you. And that was their purpose. And while I was working for them, KMR came along and said they'd like to start a division for people with disabilities. And I helped them with that. And then 15 years passed, and I was looking for work, and KMR had kind of a waning department of performers with disabilities. And so two years ago, I came on board with them. And they're dedicated to this in a way that no, well, let me back up. If you know anything about Hollywood, it's about the bottom line. It's about the profit. It has nothing to do with 501c3s and philanthropy. It's, it's what's going to make them money. And these guys took on this department. And the first year, I brought in one quarter in commissions of, of well, less than one quarter of what it cost to run that department. And these guys said, yay, let's do it another year. Um, this year, we're getting close to breaking even. We have, um, if any of you are in New York, between now and January, I encourage you to go see Spring Awakening. I have five clients who opened last week on Broadway. Four are deaf. <laughs> and one is the first woman in a wheelchair ever to be in a Broadway show. So. And Check out NBC, our friends NBC here. Um, NBC Universal, starting in January, will have a new show called Heartbreaker. And one of the series regulars is a client of mine who's a gentleman who's uh, blinded in one eye by a thick cataract, um, a thick um, scar over his cornea from cataract surgery. Anyway, th th I just want you to know that recognition like this makes us want to do it more every day. We want to re-earn this honor every single day at KMR. And I just want to go to bed at night knowing that somehow I've impacted or changed one person's life that day. And thank you very much for this. Really appreciate it.